Hello all. And to all. Hello. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to Kingdom Empowerment Ministries mm -hmm. Bible Study. Uh, we hope your day has been going well thus far and hope that everyone's safe and hoping that your family's safe and everyone's doing well. Amen. We give God all the praise <clears throat> and all the glory. We thank God for such a another day that he allow us to come before you on today. And we thank God for that. And just trying to get the sound and everything right, right here. But to God be the glory. It is a blessing to come before you. And uh, we don't take it lightly. And we thank God for it. Amen. So we just um, want to just welcome everyone for joining us as others begin to log on on today and we thank God for it. Um, we give God praise, we give God honor, and we give God all the glory because all the glory belongs to him. Amen. So we, we thank God for it. Hallelujah is the highest praise there. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. Um, we thank God for um, his son, Jesus. We thank God uh, for everything, and uh, we just want to just encourage you just for a moment as far as um, even the season that we're in. This is October, and, you know, a lot of times um, we see, you know, um, festivities like the fair and different things coming up, and, um, you know, what do you do when not only your moment, your season, but when things have been interrupt, what do you do? We just got to continue as we're going to continue the night as far as in God's grace. Amen. That's all we can do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um, but you know, when there's so many, so many things um, that we can do when your life has been interrupted by things that you can't control, you know, due to no fault of your own when, um, when there have been interruptions mm -hmm. and um, I, I, I think one of the biggest thing that we can do is just sit back and, and um, do, do a reflection, reflect yes. not only over your life, mm -hmm. um, in, in, you know, your, all of your relationships maybe, and, you know, with your entire family, just um, have a, a reflection. Stop mm -hmm. and think. Stop. You know, that's a moment to pause. Yes. Because a lot of times we have, we're doing so much. Mm -hmm. And how rarely, or I should say, no, how often <laughs> do we get the chance to just stop and breathe and take a, yeah. you know, take a breather, take a moment and reflect mm -hmm. over your life. And, and, but more importantly, reflect on who God is. Yeah. And, and the goodness um, of our God and, and, and all the things that he has done and will do and the goodness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because how many, you know, God is good, not sometime, but he's good there all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and we're just thankful and grateful um, for God's grace and his mercy. And we, we just bless the Lord on tonight and we give God praise and thank God for all of you joining us. Miss Deborah, God bless you, Miss Gregory and um, Sister Barbara, Cousin mm -hmm. Barbara. Amen. God bless all of you. And we thank God because mm -hmm. I, I, I'm telling you, these are some challenging and some trying some times. Amen. That we're experiencing now, you know. Um, but this is where we continue to just trust God. Mm -hmm. and, Amen. I, and you said something so important. I mean, when we're when life has been interrupted, um, we get to see how good God is, even in the midst of that. In the mm -hmm. midst of the interruption, we can still see the goodness of God. Amen. And Amen. when you're reflecting over all that He's done and seeing, and you know, but when you look, when you start going through reflections, mm -hmm. you get, oh, you're really interested now? You said, no, mm -hmm. no, when I say, when you say <laughs> reflection, I was getting ready to say, like, say, when someone has well, a, a, a dinner. Well, wait a minute, no, okay. save that right, thought. Okay. Don't, you're interrupting me. <laughs> but, <laughs> All right, we're going to get started. We started, amen. Amen. No, but when you have that, that moment of reflection, yes. you really get to see Again, God's goodness, but then yes. you get to see that he was there all along. All along. And everything, even in those moments when it feels like he he's not there. Amen. Or it seems Amen. like he wasn't there. Amen. You get to 
when you do the, have that moment of reflection, you really get to see um, God's character and his mm-hmm. his, uh, his 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 finger or his hands upon your life during some time some trying times that we've mm-hmm. had. Yes, and and when you say reflection, you like it, it jumped out at me because a lot of times, even on a program when someone have a a celebration. Or a uh, someone turned, you know, whatever age, or you know, we call it jubilee, fifty, and said so next on the program we would have a reflection, um, you know, and and it gives you a, you know, the, when you think back but don't go back of of your life and the thing that you experienced and the thing that God brought you through, and when you look at it like man, some of the things that I've experienced, some of the things that um, you know should have would have took me out, but it was because of His grace and mercy that kept me. And that's that's a blessing, you know. So we're we're just thankful and grateful um, to God for all that what He has already done. Amen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, I'm telling you, I'm just I'm just thankful, you know. To to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Mm-hmm. Amen. Look, we see Pastor Keith is joining us here today. And Pastor Keith, don't make me start laughing already. <laughs> You're tickling me <laughs> with your comments, and um, it just what you said on here just now, did you see what he said? No, what he said. <laughs> Look at what Pastor Keith said. <laughs> God bless all my pastors, friend. God bless you, Covenant Connection International, CCI. God bless all of you, man. I, I, I love you guys, amen. And we know who's in charge also, their first lady, amen. <laughs> yeah. But it reminds me of what, what Pastor Val said, remember? And look, we get this from Pastor Val. <laughs> Pastor Val said, if, tr- if the truth be told, we know who the true bishop is. The real bishop. <laughs> we know who the real bishop is. So. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you know, what? We, we thank God for that. And, um, you know, I went happen all the way. And, you know, there, even when I look back and not only look back, but from since the pandemic and from since March, April, May, June, July, August, September, even going into October 7th, seven, seven months, God allow us to be on this set together and not only just this set together, but Facebook Live and streaming live, YouTube and sharing the gospel. We never thought that we would be doing this, you know, and a lot of times, you know, it takes a lot to really, really come before you as far as, you know, bringing the, um, the word and breaking the, the bread of life in this because the thing about it, when you say something is going out, not only just out to the people, but it's going out worldwide. So we're just thankful and grateful that God grace us as we're going to continue to talk about grace on tonight to do this. Amen. And, and we're, we're just thankful. Mm-hmm. It's not me. It's not you. But it's by his grace. Amen. Mm-hmm. And we're thankful and we're grateful. And the thing about it, I always say, you know, well, there's television ministry. This is te- this is television ministry right here. Mm-hmm. So we, we're, we're thankful and grateful to God for everything that he has placed before us. And look, and this free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> no money expense. So we thank God for what he has already allowed us to, you know, impact the lives of other people. And um, think okay. about it. No monthly expenses. No man. You don't think so? Well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, as far as say, if you had a, a regular program and running on television, mm-hmm. you would have to pay that fee, pay that. And um, nevertheless, we're, we're just thankful and grateful and for the hearts of you all joining us mm-hmm. on tonight. Um, God bless you, Sister Yolanda, Sister Gregory. God bless you, Pastor Keith, and all of you all. We, we're just thankful and grateful Um, humble to bring and break forth the bread of life with each and every one of you all on tonight. Uh, We do not, never, never, ever, never, ever take God's word lightly. Amen. Amen. And this is where he wants us to keep his word within our heart as when we go out, we can share it. But it starts also in the house first. Amen. So we bless God for that. And we're just grateful and thankful, even with all the thing that's going on around us, God is still good. Yeah, and you know, and I know a lot of times, and I, I, I want to say this up front. I know a lot of times it seems like um, we kid around a lot. 
But you know, we we I, in order to keep my sanity, I have to laugh. I have to smile. And you know, and but and then what keeps me smiling? What keeps the laughter and the joy in my soul? Is me. What, <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get into the oh. word, but you know what? Laughter is good for the soul. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> what brings about so much joy in my heart is, you know, knowing who God is, knowing that there's a God that 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 I can serve, knowing that there's a true God, that there's one true living yes. God. Yes. Yes. Knowing that he's my not only is he my creator, but he's my father. Yes. He's my friend. He's my savior. Yes. He's my Lord. Yes. Yes. Um, he's, he is my joy. My he's Lord. my salvation. Mm. He's my savior. Oh, my God. I mean, how mm. can I not? Even in the, the, the times where when times are so hard, mm -hmm. when times get hard, when we when we when I and I'm, I'm speaking for myself personally, mm -hmm. when I fall into difficult times, when I have trials and tribulations, that that we have gone through as a family. Yes. Um. Yeah. There there is that moment where it feels like you can't go on. But, but no. when you stop and mm. think, when you have that moment to breathe. Yes. And to realize mm. that he that when when there's nothing or no one else that I can turn to mm. or rely on ah, or glory. depend on Jesus. or call on Thank when there's no Lord. one else that I can call on. My Lord. I have a savior. I yes. have a Lord. I yes. have a God. That yes. I can call on, yes. that I can Amen. depend on, Amen. that I can rely, Amen. that I can go to. Amen. That, you know, Amen. He doesn't rush me if I'm if I'm crying, my Lord. or if I'm sad, and if I'm, you know, there are things yes. that I have to talk yes. about. Yes. He doesn't get weary. He doesn't get tired. No. He and it's mm. not like uh, it's not like I have, you know, with somebody. If I'm on the phone with a friend, or even with my husband, if he has to go to work, he can't stay up with me all night. I'm trying not you know? to. <laughs> But my Lord, it's, it is him that gives me a peace that I can't explain. Yes. That surpasses all understanding. Amen. That Amen. allows me to get up and get moving. Yeah, of course I have my down times. Mm -hmm. That we have those moments where where again, like I said, you feel like you can't go on, like um, you don't know if you can make it to the next day. Mm -hmm. But if you just this is where you have to have a savior. Yes. This is where your God comes My into Lord. play. Amen. Amen. When, when things are so hard, mm. this is Glory. when your savior comes in. If, look, if you can't get through the next day, mm. who is your God? Oh my. This is when we realize who God truly is when we're yes. in those moments. Amen. Not so much. Yeah, he's the God. There's a song that I love. Not only is he the God of the of the mountains when mm. I'm up on the mountains my when I'm Lord. at the very top. My but Lord. when I feel like I'm at the very lowest point in my life, he's still the God. He's yes. still that same God. Yes, yes. That Amen. can sustain me and can Amen. keep me Amen. Amen. when I'm at the, in my lowest Amen. point. Amen. But he can sustain me and keep me when yes. I'm at my highest point. Amen. Amen. So see, there's no other God. No one else can give you that peace nature. Yeah, we've got, you know, there are things that are going on. But during this time, when we begin to talk about God, He's the one that gives. He's the one that gives you that smile and that joy and that Amen. peace, where you can continue to go on. There's nobody but God. Amen. There and then, and then that's how, is no one like our God. <laughs> mm. Yep. No. There one. is no one like our God. Mm. My God, there's no one like our God. Glory, hallelujah. And see, Pastor would sing it. I would My just Lord. I would just speak the words. I'm not gonna sing it in front of you. <laughs> My Lord. Amen. But it is God. Yes. It is God yes. that who He's the only one that can do that can keep you. My Lord. That will allow you to be able to continue on in life, to be able to function throughout life. Amen. Only God can do it. Only that. God. Only God. Amen. And that yeah. brings us to our point, and we bless the Lord. And just for a few moments, we want to talk with you and, and, and share the word of God with you. If you could turn with us in the book, according to Titus, turn with us to Titus, Titus chapter two. I want to read one verse and we're going to go ahead and go from there. And we bless the Lord for all of you mm. on tonight. And I'm telling you, we thank God. And that's why we're still talking about, and we're still in 
grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. How many of you know you can never get enough of his grace? Amen. Mm -hmm. You can never get enough of his grace. Glory. Hallelujah. Amazing grace. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Titus chapter 2, begin with verse number 11. I just want to read that one verse for the sake of time. And we bless in knowing that you have had a prosperous week this, this far. And um, as we would call it, we in Wednesday, we call it the hump day, which is the middle of the week. But, you know, through it all, you know, hey, this is where we, you know, our, our gas tank will, might be a little low, but still yet. We had some refuel from Sunday, but this is Wednesday. We're going to continue to, you know, my, if it's on empty, if it's on quarter of a tank, if it's on half, with the word of God, we want to continue to fool you up until we meet again. Amen. Amen. Titus, the book of Titus. Amen. Titus chapter 2, beginning with verse number 11. Amen. I just want to read that one verse, one verse of scripture, Titus 2 and verse 11. Amen. It said, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation had appeared to all men, which is plural, male and female, amen? The grace, it said, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation had appeared to all men. Just for a, a, a few moments, we want to talk with you. Tonight, there's some other, um, several other scriptures we want to cover, but um, we want to talk with you just for a few moments. The title would be The Power of Grace. The Power of Grace. The Power of Grace. Amen? The Power of Grace. And, and the thing about it is that here it is, we, we, we need God's power. We need his grace. Amen? We need the power of grace, even as you look at it. There is power in God's amazing grace. He keeps you and I in awe all the time. God always keeps us amazing with the things that he do. And not only with the things that he do, but all the time, he just blow our mind. And all of a sudden, how many of you know, here it is. When we're thinking one thing, God is thinking something else. Oh, my God. And that's that's the kind of God we serve. He's an amazing God that we serve. Amen. So we're talking about here it is, the power of grace. Before I go any further, I want to I want to read um, the other verses. Look at verse 12. Look at verse 12. I just wanted to, to build that foundation where um, it says in verse 11, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation had appeared to all men. And we're talking about the power of grace. And look at verse 12. When it brought it to all men, it's, it, it tells us plain what it did and what it should do and what it always is to do with teaching us, me and you and I, that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present world. Hey, come on now. If we say we're a Christian, we should act like a Christian. If we say we love God, we should not only just act like we love God, but we got to show the love of God that comes from within all the time, not just that when <laughs> things are good. Amen. Then it says here it is looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity. It didn't say some. It said all. If we still tied up, tangled up, trying to get loose from sin, from this and from that, then here it is. Have we submitted our life all the way to Christ Jesus? I mean... Come on now, we can't submit half. We got this. This is not a halfway. This is not a halfway house. This is a house that I'm telling you, a house of prayer, a house of worship, a house that give God glory, give God praise all the time. If we're gonna go in, we need to go in all the way. Mm -hmm. Give it all to God, Amen. Not some, but give it all to God, Amen. Mm -hmm. It said, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great 
God and our Savior Jesus Christ. And then it said, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Verse 15 said, these things speak and exalt and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. No man, no man. For the word of God had already put it so clearly and so plain. It tells us right here. Here it is. It, it, it had appeared, bringing salvation had appeared to all men, the grace of God. And we're talking about the power. The, there's power. There's power in it. Isaiah 40 and 29. You can, you can read it in your spare time. Let me say this. Isaiah 40 and 29. In the book of Isaiah, the Old Testament, chapter 40, verse 29, it said, He giveth power to the faint. When you feel like you can't go on, when you feel like giving up, God give you that power, that deutimous power, that wonder working power. And I'm telling you, that's grace working over time in our life. Oh my God, glory, hallelujah. He gives power to the faint and to them that, and to them that have no might, he increase strength. Increase when you feel or when you... Knowing that you can't go on, God increases. Amen. Not we increase ourselves. See, the thing is, this is where we, we this is where we get all that power from. Amen. The, it's the word of God. It's the word of God and continually staying connected to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful that God has given us that power, the power of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Mm. We thank God for it. Hallelujah. There's another um, scripture I want to read for your hearing. Um, can you read um, Ecclesiastic verse 9, verse 11 through 14? Turn with this to the book of Ecclesiastic verse 9. Um, I'm sorry, chapter 9, verses 11 through 14. Amen. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. Can you read that for us? Yep. Um, chapter 9, verses 11 through 14, where it talks about the race. But how many of you know the later part of that verse? You hear it. It's not about the race, but it's, we need grace for every race. Amen? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> we need God's grace for every race. Every time we're challenged and faced with things in our life, whether it's sickness, whether it's disease, whether it's COVID-19, however, pandemic, unemployment, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. We, we need God's grace in our life to help us to maneuver, not only just um, um, go through it, but also navigate our way through situations in life. Amen? Amen. All right. So Ecclesiastes um, chapter 9, beginning with verse 11, mm -hmm. and I'll read in the King James Version, and it says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, mm. neither yet bread to the wise, wow. nor yet riches to men of understanding, mm. nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen mm. to, to them all. For man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, mm. and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city, and few men within it. Wow. And there came a great king against it, and besieged it, and built great bul bulwarks against it. Or bulwarks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Through 14. 11, said through 14. Yes, ma'am. 11 through 14. But you know why I wanted to highlight it? You know, we hear it all the time about the race is not given to the swift. And I just wanted to, to just read all of that, not just part of it. Because <clears throat> even in this race, um, God is always going to give us the grace that we need to run this race. Amen. And, 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 also, the scripture tells us that God is not the author 
of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to read that. Can I read that those same verses in? Um, yes, ma'am. Let me read it in the message version. Mm -hmm. And it says, I took another walk around the neighborhood and realized wow. that on this earth as it is, <clears throat> the race is not always to the swift nor the battle to the strong, nor satisfaction to the wise, nor riches to the smart, nor grace to the learned. Mm. Sooner or later, bad luck hits us all. No one can predict misfortune. Like fish caught in a cruel net or birds in a trap, so men and women are caught by accidents, e by accidents evil and sudden. Mm -hmm. One day, as I was observing how wisdom fares on this earth, I saw something that made me sit sit up and take notice. There was a small city with only a few people in it. A strong king came and mounted an attack, building trenches and attack and attack posts around it. There was a little there was excuse me, there was a poor but wise man in the town whose wisdom saved the town. Wow. But he was promptly forgotten. My Lord. He was only a poor man after all. And never read it through 15. Through so. 15. Amen. Amen. You know, even as when, when we look at these scriptures, um, you know, and I hear the Holy Spirit saying, um, just, um, I just want to pause just for a second. There's a couple other scriptures I'm going to cover tonight but um just you know when i when i think and not only just think but you know um here it is you know we in october november december and i and i know a lot of us were thinking oh my god how much long more um you know not only just how much long more uh, we don't know what 2021 is going to bring uh we didn't thought that 20 we didn't know 2020 was going to bring this but but still yet it does when you think about it, God is still very well alive. Amen. And and this is why I tell people all the time, God ain't dead. He he watches over his word. I'm telling you, and when you sometimes when you go out the house, when you go to different places and you know, you, you see people out there and seem like everybody's scrambling, everybody seem like they in panic mode and anxiety mode, and um, it's just it's it's something else. It's something else. And not only just panic mode, but it is just like, you know, you're watching over your shoulder and, you know, seeing like you, you never thought you would be able to experience something like this. A lot of time you see it and you hear it in other places and, you know, you got to be careful. You got to wipe this down. You got to wipe that down. But, you know, just think about it. It's the power of grace. Oh, my God. It's the power of grace. It's the power of of grace that allow you to go out and maneuver to do this and then do that and to come back in. And I'm not saying untouched, unharmed. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm telling you through it all, God got you. God got us. God is, I'm telling you, God, he watches over his word every time there. He does. Yep. Mm. Yes, he is. Every time he watches, not only that, he watches over his word. But the thing about it, he watches also over his people. Amen. And and, and the scripture, I say it all the time, Second Chronicles 16 and 9, it said the eyes of the Lord is running to and forth throughout the whole earth to see who heart and mind stayed on him. And the thing about it, not only that we're, our heart and mind is on God right now while we're in the word, while we're talking about Bible study, but here it is. We out, you know, we could be right before you, but here it is. Some of us, you never know, our mind could be on something else. Our mind could be, well, you know, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I got to go to work tomorrow. But the thing about it is that here it is, what I'm going to eat, different thing like that. But this is where we got to keep our mind on Jesus then. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. All is well? Oh, yeah. I was just um, <laughs> reading a little bit more of that scripture, um, the rest of that chapter. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, chapter 9. That entire chapter is very interesting. It is. Um, it, I can. I just want to read the last two verses before you go on. It, just a little side note here. Just mm -hmm. listen to this. Um, verses 17 and 18. Um, in the message version, it reads, The quiet words of the wise mm -hmm. are more effective 
yes. than the ranting of a king of fools. Wow. Um, Say that again. Yeah. The what? The quiet words My Lord. of the wise are more effective hmm. than the ranting of a king of fools. You know, that's the powerful. Well, let me read the other one before you do the last verse. No, I'm not. Is, <laughs> Wisdom is better than warheads, mm-hmm. but one hothead can ruin the good earth. Wow. But verse 12 was, I mean, sorry, 17. The quiet words of the wise are more effective than the ranting of a king of fools. Wow. Whew. Just, you know, just, you know, when we're using, and mm-hmm. you know, you can connect this with grace also because grace gives you wisdom. It does. Amen. Um, Thank you. It does. Yeah, we have to, you know, God gives us that wisdom. We we want to walk with wisdom. As believers, we want to we want to use wisdom and not not in just what we do, but with our words. You know, mm-hmm. as we're speaking, as we're going about from day to day, yes. we want to be mindful of the words that we're using, um, not just towards someone else, but also in your own in your household mm-hmm. over your life in your relationships you Amen. know day in and day out you want to be mindful of the words you're speaking and especially over yourself and you know, you know come to think of it you know because of this pandemic that we're in um you know parents or our mothers and fathers they may be dealing with a lot of frustration because of you know having to do this virtual learning yes. uh, with their children so um. Yeah, my my heart just goes out to them once again, and I pray that they can use some, you know, use a lot of words of wisdom to begin to speak these things over their lives and in their household. Yes, yes. And over the situations. You know, there's um, and and I bless God for that. What you just read, and while you were reading, the Holy Spirit were just stirring these scriptures in my spirit, and I know um. One way it said, he who, want, who, he who wins soul is wise. He who wins soul is wise for the Lord. But also there's another one that stirred in my spirit, Proverb 15 and 1. It said, a soft tongue turn away wrath, but grievous word stir up anger. Mm-hmm. Proverb 15 and 1. A soft tongue turn away wrath, but grievous word stir up anger. My God, my Lord. Mm. So the thing about it is that here it is. This and you just said it. The wisdom God give us that wisdom, which you know the power of grace. He, you know, the thing about it is that a lot of times somebody said, "Man, you take all that and you can take." No, 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 no. Sooner or later, you know, and I don't want to get th- this going into another area where, you know, please ask it also tells about there's a time and a season for all things. But what I'm what I am saying is that God give us that that grace to to bear some things. Amen. He, he allow us to have that grace to to do some things that only he's capable of doing, because how many, of you know, from time to time, I'll tank get on empty. I'll, I'll tank, get on empty. And when it gets on empty, God is right there. Glory, hallelujah. And when it says the just man falls seven times, he gets right on back up. He don't get up by himself. It's the grace of God that pull him up. Amen. Glory. It's God's grace. I'm telling you, it's God's grace. It's the power of God's grace. My Lord, hallelujah. Mm. Yeah. And, and again, when you talk about the power of, the, of grace, because grace is... it. It is Christ Himself. Yes. Grace is Christ Himself, and there, um, where we get to see the manifestation of grace through Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit. And um, when I'm when you're thinking about the tongue, when you quote um, Proverbs one, I mean fifteen, 15 and, one, and one, Amen. Um, it's the power of the grace that that guides your tongue. Mm. That brings the word, brings the scripture back to remembrance. Wow. Yes, to that's good. Give you that to, to to allow you to speak that wisdom, to speak that truth. So it's the the power of the Holy Spirit um, that works through grace, 
that, in, uh, or I should say, in partners with grace. Amen. It's the Holy Spirit Amen. that partners with grace. Yes. Um, to bring these scriptures back to remembrance. Amen. Amen. And and, uh, and give you the the power to to speak. Yes. Yes. And I'm I'm thankful for it. We're thankful for it each and every time. And 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 the thing about it is that that takes us to another scripture, which you just quoted, which you just said. Go with us to Acts one and eight, the book of Acts one and eight. Just read that one scripture. That's that's a powerful scripture. Uh, I'm telling you, um, Acts one and eight, the book of Acts is 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 awesome not only that it's awesome and god has given us that power but here it is how can the power of grace work without the holy ghost <laughs> how can it work without the holy ghost amen i'm thankful glory hallelujah it's not no ghost it's, it's the holy ghost will make you talk right make you walk right make you do i'm, I'm telling you even make you love your enemy glory hallelujah <laughs> my amen. lord mm. How is it possible? <laughs> yes. It's My so Lord. So Acts chapter one and verse eight. Mm -hmm. in, in the King James, it reads, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea wow. and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Wow, my Lord. So that's covering all areas. Jerusalem, the home. Judea, out. Samaria, um, your neighbors and your enemies. And this is where God given us that power. But like I said, without the power of grace, the Holy Ghost is always in operation. Because here it is. When we operate in his power, we never lose electricity. Mm, my God, did you catch that? When we operate in his power, we never lose electricity. My God, the, the lights is all the lights stay on at all the time. Even in the daytime. It doesn't it doesn't matter. That's when at night, oh my God, you're bright. And even in the day. You, you on high beam, it just get brighter and brighter. Glory, hallelujah. It's something on the inside working on the outside. Oh, what a change. Glory, hallelujah. My God. Mm. Thank God for his grace. The power of grace. Hallelujah. My God, my God, oh, my God. And then here it is. When you think about this, let me just say this just for a moment. When you think about it, when we operate in his power, not my power, not your power. See, it's, it's when we operate in his power, amen, the Lord's power, we, we don't, and, and we don't have to ever worry about the amount each month. Like I said, when we operate in his power, we will never lose electricity. And when we operate in his power, we don't have to ever Worry about the amount, the electric bill that we're going to pay each month. <laughs> oh, my God. Glory. Because God has given you the power, the supernatural power. Glory. Hallelujah. To change the atmosphere. Oh, ah, glory. Hallelujah. He's given you that dudamus power. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Mm. When I think of the power of grace. Yes. Come on now. It may. It, 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 see, the power of grace that power allows you to do some things that you can't do in your own strength. Amen. Amen. Like for instance, if to love, to love the unlovable, unlovable. Amen. to love your enemy mm -hmm. is the power, the power of that, the power within the, or the power behind the grace. Mm -hmm. Cause when, cause Jesus is grace. Yes. He is that grace. So what's the, the power that's that, 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 that he has is the almighty God. Almighty God. It's Amen. the almighty God. So it's the the power of grace. My Lord. Helps us to extend grace. We can't extend grace if there's the there's not that power. My Lord. We Come can't extend. We, 
Come on. We're getting mm. grace. He gives us grace. Yes, yes, he, he does. He shows us grace. Hallelujah. He bestows grace upon us. Amen. And we cannot extend that grace mm. to someone else. Wow. Without the power. Wow. The po without the power of the grace. You know, <laughs> or I should say, the power of grace, not yes. the grace. Yes. Yes. Thank of grace. you. Thank you. Thank you. You know my. You know. Um, I heard my my brother said this one time, Pastor William, and he said, "Here it is. If you don't have that power, how can you power up somebody else? Hmm. You don't. Come on now. You can't expect a dead battery to jump a dead battery. Oh my God. Mm, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. You can't expect." You got a dead battery to try to jump a dead battery. Somebody got to have some kind of power to help uplift somebody else. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And if your battery is running on, on low, mm. you can't, you can't, because, and that's, and you know what? This is what's so great about God. Yes. What's so amazing about yes. him. Yes, thank he, you, Lord. The little bit that you have. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. If you're getting Come ready, if, you get, if your batteries get about to die. Mm. He's not going to allow you to, to give that power to somebody else and, and wow. leave you completely drenched. Empty. Mm. To leave you completely empty or drenched or with no power at all. Wow, my Lord. Mm. That's the kind of God we serve. Hallelujah. Mm. And that's the kind of God you serve, I serve, we serve, and we thank God for serving. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. What an awesome, awesome God. Last but not least, let, let me just... Um, Go right here. Um, I want to say this. Um, he gives us grace to continue in his presence to receive his power every time. He gives you and I, he gives us grace to continue in his presence to receive his power every time. Amen. Holy Ghost power. Thank you, Mother Warren. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost power. Amen. Holy Ghost power, not just any kind of power, amen? It's that Holy Ghost power. Sometimes, glory, hallelujah, when, thank you, Holy when your kid's acting up, oh, glory, hallelujah, all of a sudden, you ain't got to sing that. The only thing, the Holy Ghost just show up and get them and line them right on up. It's that the power of grace, but it's operating through the Holy Ghost, amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, my Lord, my God, and that's the kind of God that we serve each and every time. And who wouldn't want to serve a God like that? As I said earlier, and I'm thankful and I'm grateful with all this going on when we look around, when we think about it and and and, and all this that we experience. And, and I'm telling you, it's just, you know, sometimes when you say, oh my God, I can't wait till I get back home. You know, till I get back in my house. Till, you know, I just want to sit back, relax and, you know, you can you can just breathe and because out there when you go out there seeing like you know um with the mask on of course we know that but when you go out there seeing like things is just tense up and as i said before everybody looking at one another and you know when if somebody ever <coughs> cough they looking at you funny mm. huh they, they're gonna look at you funny huh come on now they they they're gonna look at you funny and and the thing about it or if someone sneezes they, they're gonna look at you like uh-uh but glory, I'm telling you, and and that's that's it's God's grace that's keeping us, people. It's God's grace that's going to continue to keep us. It's God's amazing grace. It's that power. I'm not telling you to to you know all of a sudden to to um in in other words use um do it use his power for granted. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. Is, is that there's situation and places and all of a sudden you catch yourself and find that you're there and all of a sudden is that God's power, it's that power of his grace that's protecting you, amen? It's the Holy Ghost, amen? And that's what we are thankful and grateful for each time because we, 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 we don't know everything. We don't see everything, mm -hmm. but we know who know. God knows. Right. God sees. God knows. Glory. Hallelujah. He knows and he sees everything. Amen. Glory. And the thing about it is that here it is. This is where we continue to trust God through it all. We know that some has gone on to be with the Lord. Many people died through this, but still yet we're going to continue to pray for those family who are mourning, those family who are, are going to. We're going to continue to lift even our members, 
our family, our friends. We're going to continue to lift you up in prayer. Amen. I'm telling you, you're not, you're not alone. With, with, you're never alone. This is where we're going to continue to trust God through it all. Amen. God got you, and this is the power of his grace that's going to sustain you and keep you. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? Because he's with you. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. He's right there beside you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My Lord, my God. Mm. So we're thankful and grateful for his grace and his mercy on tonight. Here it is. Let me just share this with you also. Um, <clears throat> as I was, um, the Holy Spirit shared this also with me earlier today. I just want to share it with the viewers um, where it says, you know, the Holy Spirit was telling me this. He said, in his presence, we have, in his presence, we are powerful. In his presence, we are powerful. Out of his presence, we are powerless. Out of his presence, we are powerless. This is where we get all of our power. This is where he, he glory, hallelujah. This is, this is where he charges us up. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. But then here it is. When we're not in his presence, when we're not praying, when we're not talking to God, not reading his word, all of a sudden, glory, hallelujah, it just opened up for the enemy to come and attack you from this side, that side, this side, and all of a sudden, we wonder what's going on. God said, I haven't heard from you, son. I haven't heard from you, daughter. I haven't heard from you. Glory. Hallelujah. It's, it's always a good thing to say, good morning, Father. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, angels. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. What a joy it is to serve the Lord each and every day. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God for that. Hallelujah. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. Grace is at his best as always in prayer and his presence. And that's why we got to stay in his face. Amen. Yeah. Stay in God's face. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. You know, like the thing you smiling, why <laughs> something you want to say. <laughs> but anyway, this is where um, we, we got to continue to Pray to God, read his word, and believe what his words say. Heaven and earth will pass away before his word change. If God said it, that settles it. Mm -hmm. If God said it, don't even worry about it. If God said you heal, you heal. God said you're blessed, you're blessed. No matter what, I don't care how things look like right now. Amen. But sooner or later, mm, 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 mm. Psalm 35, my God, weeping might do for a night, but joy come where? In the morning. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So we thank God for his joy and we thank God for his grace and his mercy that he has given us the victory and it's all about the power of grace. Mm -hmm. Amen. We want to close. Um, anything else? Mm -mm. No, I want to. I, I can't think of anything. You right sure? No. I want to go back before we. Um, I want to go back to um, Titus. Amen. I want to go back to Titus, and we're gonna we're gonna um, just rest right there. Go back to the book of Titus. Um, the, the scripture that we read, um, where it says, "For the grace of God that bringeth." Salvation had appeared to all men. Had appeared to all men. Meaning that Jesus had appeared to all, not some. Because Jesus Christ is grace. Amen. And this is where we continue to trust him through it all. Amen. Even, even when you think about it, first Adam and Moses. Amen. So this is where, and I love what verse 12 said, teaching us. He taught us. And, and the thing about it, if we're doing something that not pleasing and satisfying to God, he, the Holy, oh my God, thank you. The Holy Spirit will let us know. Not only the Holy Spirit will let us know, but it said teaching us that denying, we are to deny 
Oh my God. Yes, Lord. I, okay. All right. We got to go there. So here it is. If the scriptures say denying ungodliness, why do we entertain it, honey? <laughs> you, um, ah, sometimes we, there, there are a lot of reasons. My Lord. Why someone may entertain God. Um, what, what did you say? Um, he said, teaching us that denying ungodliness. Oh, ungodliness. Um, but we entertain it. Well, some, because it's, it, it's good. It, it feels good to the flesh. Wow. It feels That's good. That's one, one thing. It feels good to the flesh. My Lord. Or in other words, we don't want to lose friend. We don't want to make people mad. But the thing about it is that the word of God said right here, teaching us and denying ungodliness and worldly lust. Worldly lust. And should and this is and this is where it tells us it said we should. That's why I said we should and know that all is not going to do it. That's why I said we should live soberly, righteously, soberly and righteously. If you're going to be drunk, be drunk with the word of God, drunk in the spirit and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Soberly, righteously and godly in the pres in this presence world. You know why the scripture tells us that? What scripture is it? Titus chapter 2, verses 12. Okay. Well, I came from 11. I was reading chapter, um, okay. chap um, verse 12. But this is where, in this present world, with all that's going on, all this, oh my God, yes, Lord, I thank you, my Lord. Mm. But all this craziness and, and foolishness, and, and, and the thing about it is that here it is, someone have to take a stand. And we can say all in what the church is not the building is is those glory hallelujah the born again Christian living a righteous and holy life for the Lord Amen and I and, and it's not about the building because here it is we got to live a holy and righteous life on Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday every day twenty four seven this is Oh my God, this is not, yes, Lord, I hate. This is not something we just put on. This is not something we just make up. This is not something we just, all of a sudden, this is something we want to up and do. Amen? Mm -hmm. My God. Mm. Hallelujah. Go ahead. I know it's something um, you want to read. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, in the message version, I want to read those things. Well, starting with verse 11. It says that God's readiness to give and forgive is now public. Wow, my Lord. God's readiness to give and forgive is now public. Mm. Salvation's available for everyone. We're being shown how to turn our back on a godless, my and Lord. indulgent life and how to take on a God-filled, God-honoring life. This new life is starting right now and is whetting our appetite for the glorious day when our great God and Savior Jesus Christ appears. Mm. He offered himself as a sacrifice to free us from a dark, rebellious life into this good, pure life, making us a people he can be proud of, energetic, and goodness. Wow, my Lord. So his, that you know, his, um, mm. God is ready to forgive, to give and forgive. So and and this is open to everyone. Amen. And you know it just, that just speaks of God's love for yes. for everyone and His desire. Agape. And His desire to see all men be saved. Wow. You know um, when you read that, sometimes and uh, we're gonna just pause right there for a minute. Sometimes we people, one another, we hold things and we hold things over one another and won't let go. But what you just said, God is always ready to move on. Amen. Well, yeah, he's all he's he's always wanting for us. Yes. To get to the place to choose him. Amen. For Amen. us to waiting, he's always waiting for us to come back to ourselves. Come back to him. Come, come, um, come back to ourselves and come to him. Amen. Like the um, 
who was it like the um, the prodigal son? Yes. He came back. That was to powerful. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You know, just come. He's waiting for us to come back to ourselves to have that moment of realizing that. Wait a minute. We can do better than I can do better than what I'm doing. Amen. There's someone else better than me. There's a source mm. that is better than the sources that I've been choosing. Ah, say that again. <laughs> There's a source. There is a source mm. that is better than the choices. Or, I'm sorry. Than the than the, um, the the sources that I have been looking to. Wow. There's a source that is better. Like if you think your source is money. My if you Lord. think the source is your job, my Lord. if you think your spouse mm. is your source, mm, my God, come on. If you think the things of this world is your source, they're a resource. Yeah, God is a source. So He's waiting for us to realize yes. that there is He's better and He's greater. He's He's everlasting. Yes. These things are yes. He's the Savior, not these things. These things can't save us. Amen. Wow. They cannot save us. He's waiting for us to to recognize Amen. that we are at fault, that we were wrong, and that He is He was there all along. We're just, he's just waiting for us mm. to come to Him. Yes. Come back to Him. Or for those of us that have walked away, mm. He's waiting for you to come back to Him. Because look, it, again, that scripture um, in um, Titus chapter two and verse, verse eleven. 20. Yes. For the grace of God mm -hmm. that bringeth salvation. Um, no, for the grace of God that yeah, but that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. Has oh. appeared to all men. So it just speaks of His love. Yes, it speaks of His love, His faithfulness, um, His grace, mm. His mercy, yes. His patience. Yes, His long suffering. My God, just. Mm. It speaks of the characteristic of the characteristics of him mm. about how much he loves you, my lord. You know, when you said that the Holy Spirit it, it just quickened in my spirit, where Jesus had 12 disciples, Jesus was grace that appeared to all 12, and he knew that Judas one was a devil, but still, yet, guess what? Grace still treat him the same. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you just said grace is always ready to welcome us back. Jesus Christ. That's mm -hmm. powerful. Mm. Yeah. When everyone else is giving up on us. My Lord. He's still waiting. Yes. He's still standing there waiting for you to choose him. My Lord. Mm. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Well, we bless the Lord. We're going to um, just pause. Not only pause right there, but and we thank God for his grace. We thank God for his grace amazing grace glory hallelujah we bless the lord amen god is good i'm telling you all the time and all the time he is good and we thank god for you all joining us on tonight even as this message goes out um well we bless the lord you never know who is going to be a blessing to even as it's being shared what we we thank god for all of our viewers we do not take it lightly and not only just that but even those who might be viewing this later or however, whenever, next week, whenever. But truly, we thank God for his grace and his mercy. We're out of time, but never out of messes. Amen. Hallelujah. When you think that you messed up, when you think that you went through some things, when you think that you got a gambling problem, an alcohol, uh, sin, or whatever problem it is, God will use your mess and turn it into a message. He will use your mess. You think you messed up? God said you can come back. Same thing with the prodigal son. He uses our mess and brings it out into a great message. Amen. Mm -hmm. So don't let nobody fool you and think he's that God can't use you or God don't love you. For God, so he loved all of us in spite of the Roman 3, 3 and 23 said all have sinned and come short of the glory. Not some all mean all. We all, amen. So we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy. What a, what a, what a, what an awesome God we serve. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So we bless God. Any few last words you care to say before we close out? Amen. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we bless God for his grace and his mercy. If the Lord should tarry his coming, we see you on Sunday. Um, and always remember, continue to 
be a blessing to other people, show others love, because you never know who's watching you. You never know who's not only watching you, but you never know who's um, watching you, even from a distant or from a far off. It doesn't matter. We got to show people the, the love of God, as our um, apostle would always say, Apostle Nate, um, the late great Bishop Apostle Nate Hokum. He said, you know, sometimes people have so much hell in them, and I'm not cursing. Hell is in the Bible, and the hell is real. He said, sometimes people have so much hell in them, you got to sometimes love the hell out of them. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, because the Bible tells us love covers a multitude of sin. Amen? Glory. Hallelujah. God love. I'm telling you. God, God love, it, it stretches. It, it goes, I'm telling you. Ours might be narrow and shallow, but God love is wide. Amen. He loved worldwide, regardless of where we've been, the things we experienced. God love us in spite of our ups, our down. It doesn't matter where you've been through yesterday, tomorrow. It doesn't matter. God still love us in spite of. God love, I'm telling you, he has that agape love. It's not like we, oh, I love you today. I don't love you tomorrow. But God love us in spite of death. And that's why we still love God and we love you all and we love his people. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And, you know, you just said something, you know, that, you know, God loves us in spite of. But mm. God just loves you, period. Yes. Period. Yep, just Not comma. Yep. <laughs> yep. Just period. He just, wow. He just loves you. <clears throat> and you know what? Regardless of, you know, what we've done, what we've gone through, he just loves you, period. Wow. Never stop loving you. He just loves you because you are you. Amen. He loves you. So, um, yeah. When you, when we, I remember a time where going around in the in the church building, we, um, people were constantly saying this about um a good while, um, saying that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. No, God loves you and there's nothing that you can do about it. Amen. That's the true. That's the one that you really can't. Um, do anything Take about it. it. Yeah. He just loves you, period. You know, without any any strings attached. You know, wow. regardless of how good you can sing, how good you can cook, mm -hmm. um, how good you know, any any skill. Because you know what? You know why none of that matters? Because he's the one that gave you Amen. the the, the, the gift. talent and Amen. the gift to be Amen. able to do it. So you can't do that to impress him. Amen. Or to or hoping that he would love you more. He just loves you, period. The power of grace. Yeah. Amen. So, in spite of who we are or what we've done, he just loves you, period. So we just have to get to the place. We as believers mm -hmm. just have to get to that place of just loving people, period. Yes. Drop the mic. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> just love God you, bless period. you. Amen. We love you all and um, knowing that we are praying for you. Amen. Yeah. Any last word um, when you go out? Yeah, just stay safe. Remember to stay safe. Um, you know, use your mask, please. Um, wash your hands as often. You know, if you can't wash your hands, make sure you're using, um, you know, some sanitizer. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, do it. let's practice that social distancing so that we can, um, we can get through this. Um, there you go. So that we can get through. Amen. So, you know, just God, we want to bless you all. We're thinking of you always. Uh, we love you, period. <laughs> <laughs> Not comma. <laughs> yeah. So just have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. Yes. Um, and we look forward to seeing you back here on Sunday for our morning service um, at 10. And then also. The, our after church segment, which we normally do about 15 or 20 minutes after the service. Okay. Amen. So, God bless you all. We love you. Stay safe and we will talk with you soon. Okay. Amen. Amen.